A water resistant, fire resistant, termite resistant building material has a lot of builders, firefighters and homeowners excited, especially those facing fire danger in the Sierra foothills. Action News consumer reporter Christine Park shows us what AAC is and why it's not being used in California. The destruction of California wildfires is repeated year after year. People lose their homes, everything they own inside, and even their lives, helpless to stop the advancing flames, despite firefighters' best efforts. The flaming front was similar to placing a giant blowtorch directly onto a house. You know, there wasn't a whole lot that could be done to prevent those homes from burning. Today, these homes in Laguna Beach show no signs of the fire that consumed them more than 17 years ago. But one picture brings back a flood of memories for Tobui. The structural engineer built what was called the Miracle House after it survived the 1993 fire that claimed over 400 of his neighbor's homes. Were you proud of the home you built? Yes. After the fire, okay, people ask me how to build. I give them all knowledge I have. But even Bowie has never heard of a material called autoclaved aerated concrete, or AAC. Manufacturers say homes made of AAC would survive a fire just like Bowie's did. We took it to Fresno County Cal Fire to see for ourselves. Cal Fire spokesman Captain John Dominguez put a blowtorch to the side of some AAC samples. It's not radiating through the uh, concrete block at all um, if you can't feel it on the other side. All right, stop. I'm kind of, I'm kind of nervous. No, it's cool. It's not discoloring the uh, white concrete block. Are you impressed a little? I am. The results were even more impressive when compared to what happened with this piece of wood. This YouTube video by an AAC manufacturer shows how AAC is made. It's a mixture of sand, water, cement, and air that is formed into blocks and baked in an autoclave or huge oven. It has been used in Europe for more than 70 years and growing in popularity in states like Arizona. If this were a regular concrete block, it would weigh about 50 pounds, but AAC is 70% air, which means it floats. Workers can easily cut it and shape it with hand tools and saws, stacking it like building blocks. Space for wiring and plumbing is then carved out. 99% of what's unused can be recycled. That's how all four of these homes were made in 2004 in this subdivision in Rancho Mirage, the only one of its kind in the whole state. It's the best building product I've ever seen, and I've got 40 years in. Last week I was here and it was 105 degrees outside and the house was closed up and the temperature was 82 inside. The developers say residents are insulated from heat, cold and sound, a key selling point for buyers in the desert community. The developers vision was to make these homes the standard for all future leaner and greener homes and commercial buildings in California. The only problem, in 2006 AAC was removed from California's building code because of earthquake concerns. So the earthquake argument? The seismic argument is silly. They make up about 20% of the homes in Japan. With every time you have a new material, even, even if it's outstanding and, and excellent as this, there's going to be resistance because they don't know what it is. We asked the California Department of Housing, which said the material needs to be tested to meet California's strict seismic codes, and any changes to the code won't be for another three years. Firefighters say that's a shame. Although I'm not going to endorse anything, this would be a good material for Foothill homeowners to use. You're going to have more of a chance for, of your home being safe. For Consumer Watch, Christine Park, ABC 30 Action News. Now, building code officials tell Action News small pockets of the Central Valley have a seismic rating that just might allow homeowners to build with this AAC. Interested homeowners can apply for an alternate approval process through the local building code office. In the meantime, firefighters stress the importance of homeowners maintaining a 100-foot defensible space to drastically increase your chances of your home surviving during a wildfire.